We all know our smartphones have replaced many things. Our computers, our cameras, our navigation. But can it be replacing our microphones anytime soon? Let's find out. Oh hey, it's you. Well, uh, I will be playing on my Martin D42 and I will be recording everything on my Samsung Galaxy S8. This smartphone has two microphones, but at first I will be running a mono setup, so it's just one mic. Later I will try to see if we can run a cool stereo setup using two microphones. Wait a minute, this is not, wait. I'll be recording in WAVE at 48 kilohertz. Then I'll do some editing in Ableton to make it sound as good as I possibly can. Let's do it. First, I wanted to know what distance was most ideal for capturing the guitar as good as possible. In the results, I found that the phone had to be quite close to the guitar. If I went further than, say, 60 centimeters, it sounded quite hollow and thin. The best sound I got was placing the phone around 25 centimeters from fret 12. Mono setup, take one. So this was the unprocessed audio from the internal microphone of the phone. Let's try another option, the stereo recording. So this is the microphone on top and the microphone on the bottom. So we heard this one was a little boomier, with a subtle stereo spread going on. Now explore the last option we're trying today. Maybe we can try to turn the phone 90 degrees to really capture the stereo image. I don't think this is gonna work because probably the mic won't capture the sound real good because the sound will go past the mics instead of directly into the mics, but we can try. So we clearly hear a lot more low end to the sound and even more stereo spread. But it also comes with a lot less definition. And it's not like we had too much of it anyway, so it's probably not a too good idea. So now let's compare it to the real deal. This is an industry standard for making acoustic guitars. It's a Neumann KM184. And it comes at roughly the same price as my phone. So it should sound way better. Let's find out if it does. We also need to remember that the microphone is going into the sound card which has an AD converter and a preamp as well. So we're not just comparing the smartphone with the microphone, but the smartphone with the microphone, the preamp and the AD converter. Okay, but now it's judgment time. The phone clearly sucks. It's a toy compared to the real deal. There are numbers of glitches happening and I don't know why. Just have a listen to this for example. Do you hear the noise coming up all of a sudden? That's clearly just unacceptable in high quality recording equipment. You can't have something like this mess up your recording. If you're having that lovely take and you hear that something like this is in it, you can throw it away. You don't want that. Okay, so the next thing clearly lacks a lot of low end. If we pop up the frequency spectrum analyzer, we can see there's absolutely no low end in the sound. For acoustic guitars, that's not too big of a deal. But if you want that real special lovely low end to the sound, or just a bass guitar for example, it's just not there, it's not gonna happen. And besides that, the sound is thin and not comfortable to listen to. I tried making it sound better with an EQ for example, but every time I added something, I just added more horrible stuff in the mix. To my feeling there was something missing in the high mid frequency, so I tried boosting that, but...
all I was boosting are these piercing metal sounds. And the other way around, when I tried to cut something from the sound. <laughs> It wasn't really helping much either. Um, every time I cut something, it just became more thin and more thin. It just didn't work. So it isn't really a good basis to go to build on. So the only thing that helped a bit was adding some compression and of course some reverb to smoothen everything out a little bit. Have a listen. <laughs> So you've got a sound which is, hmm, it's okay-ish, but if you want to build on that, it's not a good foundation. So when you compare that to the Neumann, the last microphone I was recording to, let's have a listen. Oh yeah. You immediately hear it sounds full. A lot of low end, a lot of definition in the highs, it's just perfect microphone. It may not be your sound from the get-go, but you've got a real nice platform to build on. You can add some highs. Let's try that. You see? Only good frequencies, only nice highs we're hearing. without the EQ and with the EQ. And now compare that sound to the phone without EQ and with. No, metallic sound, piercing metal. All right, so, um, and if we add some compression to the Neumann. And some reverb. I would probably cut out some lows. Sounding real lovely. Compare that to the phone. Neumann. Phone. Neumann. Oh. So, that's the difference over there. So yeah, miking a $7,000 guitar with a smartphone. Is it a good idea? Well, for some purposes you might be using it for a demo or just to send your friend an idea, but it will never get you a professional sounding recording. Not yet, anyways. So this was Paul, tabs for everything I was playing are available at my Patreon page, so please check it out. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified by my videos, hit that bell button, please, thank you. Alright, so, uh, and of course, like, share and comment, etc. Have a lovely day, cheers. <laughs>